So let's break down everything you need to know in order for you to ace the FE exam. Hey everyone, my name is Matt Douglas and I wanna welcome you all to this week's Pass the FE exam video. So in this video on how to register for the FE exam, updated for 2024, we're gonna guide you through the steps to create an account, to check on your eligibility, to pay fees, and also to schedule your exam. Stay tuned to ensure a smooth and successful registration process for your Fundamentals of Engineering exam journey. Now, this video was brought to you by PPI, a leader in engineering exam prep for the FE and PE exams since 1975. PPI provides expert prep courses and study resources designed to help you pass the FE exam the first time. PPI's live online courses include hours of lectures, problem-solving demonstrations, exam strategy sessions, office hours, and a passing guarantee. When you take a live online course, PPI guarantees you will pass or you can take the on-demand course for free. With study guides, practice exams, and more, the PPI Learning Hub offers digital practice and review that you can take with you anywhere you have a device so that you can prepare during the times most convenient for you. Check out PPI today at ppi2pass.com to see all the options available for FE exam prep. Let's dive in. The FE exam is a crucial step towards becoming a licensed professional engineer in the United States. So let's break down everything you need to know in order for you to ace the FE exam. So number one, we want to overview the FE exam. The FE exam is generally your first step in the process of becoming a licensed professional engineer, or PE for short. Now, the exam is administered via computer throughout the year at Pearson View Test Centers and lasts for five hours and 20 minutes. It consists of 110 multiple choice questions covering various topics from your engineering degree. So let's break down everything you need to know to ace this exam. Number two, important COVID-related testing information updated 31st of March, 2024. So as per the PPCs, we continue to monitor COVID-19 and adjust Pearson View Test Center operations as needed. At present, company-owned Pearson Professional Centers do not require the wearing of face masks, proof of vaccination, or any other unique entry requirements unless mandated by local regulations. Number three, the FE exam is offered every month, Monday through Saturday, excluding holidays. Now you can schedule your exam through the My NCEES portal, but seats are always going to be limited, so you have to plan ahead. Now remember, there's a rescheduling fee if you need to change your exam date within 48 hours of the scheduled time. Now the dates for the 2024 FE exam are seen below. Number four, exam fees and disciplines. So the exam fee is $225, and there are seven different disciplines available based on your engineering degree. So these are going to include mechanical, civil, electrical, and computer, environmental, chemical, industrial, and systems, and other disciplines for degrees outside of the first six categories. Number five, eligibility and registration. So eligibility requirements may vary from state to state, so it's essential to check with your state board to confirm your eligibility. Now, in general, the individuals that are eligible to take the FE exam are number one, going to be students enrolled in an EAC, ABET, accredited engineering program who have completed at least two thirds of their coursework towards their engineering degree. Number two, it's going to be graduates of an EAC, ABET, accredited engineering program. And then also number three, individuals with degrees from foreign institutions that are recognized by the state board and meet the equivalent standards of an EAC ABET accredited engineering program. So to register for the FE exam, follow these steps. Number one, you wanna check your state board's requirements. You wanna visit your state board's website or contact them directly to understand the specific eligibility criteria and the registration process for the FE exam in your state. Now, number two, you want to create an account on MyNCWES. MyNCWES is the official platform for registering for and also scheduling exams administered by the National Council of Examiners for Engineering and Surveying. Create an account on MyNCWES if you don't already have one. Number three, you want to verify your eligibility. So during the registration process on MyNCWES, you may need to provide documentation or information to verify your eligibility. You might want to provide uh, your engineering degree, your enrollment status in an accredited program. 
And then number four, you want to pay that exam fee. Uh, so once you've verified your eligibility and created an account on my NCWS, uh, you'll need to pay the exam fee and the fee amount varies and is set by NCWS. Number five, you want to schedule your exam. So after paying the exam fee, you can schedule your FE exam through my NCWS. Choose a convenient location and a date for your exam based on the available options that you see. Coming in at number six, you want to download the FE Reference Handbook. Now, this is an important one. Now, as part of your exam preparation, you want to download the free FE Reference Handbook from my NCWS. And this handbook contains essential equations, formulas, and reference material that may be helpful during your examination. Now, here are some additional important tips for your success. So tip number one is going to be that you want to write the exam uh, within 12 months of graduation for the freshest material. Tip number two is that you're going to want to familiarize yourself with the exam format and use the digital FE reference handbook during that exam. And then lastly, number three, you want to double check your eligibility requirements and state specific application processes. So I hope that you guys have all found this week's video very helpful and in upcoming videos, we're going to answer more of your FE exam questions and run through some more practice problems. Past the FE exam will publish videos weekly, so please be sure to click the subscribe button as you'll get expert tips and tricks, including practice problems and solutions weekly. And we want to do this in order to ensure that you're going to pass the FE exam. And I encourage you to ask questions in the comments that I'll read and we'll respond to in the future. So if there's a specific topic that you want us to cover here at EMI or a question that you want to have answered, Pass the FE exam, we'll have you covered. I'll see you guys next week.